after watching the first video we can now finally proceed to actual solving of quadratic equation by factoring ngayon kung nakuha nyo na at naintindihan nyo na yung first video so madali na lang tong actual solving kasi ang crucial part lang naman sa solving quadratic equation by factoring ay yung factoring mismo now I will give you several steps on how to solve quadratic equation by factoring the steps are first standard form if necessary lang ibig sabihin ang una nyo gagawin kailangan naka standard form muna yung given na quadratic equation kung hindi naka standard form yung given we're going to make it standard number 2 is to factor completely so itong step 2 ito yung pinaka crucial na part kapag hindi nyo to nakuha magkakaroon tayo ng problema dyan but Kung alam niyo na kung paano mag-factor, so madali na lang yung kasunod. The last one is to solve. Equate to zero. So we're going to equate to zero kapag na-factor na natin yung mga given. So let's try the first one. We have here x squared plus 10x equals to zero. The first step is standard form. Sabi ko nga, if necessary lang. Ngayon, dahil ang given natin ay naka-standard form na, we're going to skip that step. Number 2 is to factor. So, ano ang factor ng x squared plus 10x? Remember, this is binomial. So, hindi pa tayo gagawa ng template na dalawang quantity. The first thing we need to do here is to get the GCF. So, get the GCF first of the numerical coefficient and then the GCF of the variable. So, ang GCF neto ay... 1 the numerical coefficient because we have 1 and 10 and of course the GCF of x squared and x so napakadali lang kung ano yung may maliit na exponent so yun yung GCF therefore ang ating um, GCF for this ay x so wala na yung 1 next is divide so x squared divided by x is x 10x divided by x i 10 and then third one is to solve equate to 0 so yung kapag yung sinasabing equate to 0 we're going to separate x and then x plus 10 so here we have x and then x plus 10 we're going to solve this equate first to 0 so equate to 0 means equal to 0 and then equal to 0 and then we can solve this now ito wala na tayong gagawin dyan therefore ang sagot dito ay x equal to 0 yan yung unang value ng variable here so the variable should be alone so hindi pa siya alone since meron pa siyang katabing 10 so how are we going to remove 10 we're going to subtract both sides by 10 so x plus 10 minus 10 so, nag minus tayo ng 10 sa left side. Don't forget. So, do it to the left. Do it to the right. So, minus 10 on the left. Minus 10 on the right. So, cancel natin to. May iwan yung x. We have 0 minus 10 or simply negative 10. So, that is the answer. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.